Hello Internet, it's me Josh, the Aging Gamer. So, last year Sega announced that they would be coming out with their own Sega Genesis mini console, and it's coming out this year. To be honest, I am a little burnt out on these mini consoles, especially after the lackluster PlayStation Classic. Game-wise, I just expected Sega to release these, but in a mini console form. But, that's not the case. The mini console will consist of 40 games, and half of them have already been revealed. And yes, we are getting some of those first-party classics like Sonic, Sonic 2, Streets of Rage 2, Gunstar Heroes, Echo the Dolphin, Altered Beast, Shinobi 3, Shining Force, and Toe Jam and Earl. But there's actually third-party support for this console. We're also getting Castlevania Bloodlines, Contra, Castle of Illusion, World of Illusion, and Earthworm Jim. That's, that's absolutely nuts, and that really makes me think that the doors are wide open for almost anything to appear on this console. So, with that said, I did compile a list of the top 10 games I want to see on this Sega Genesis Mini. I'm not listing any first party games because I think we kind of expect some unannounced games like Golden Axe and Fantasy Star to appear on the console. My list is sticking to third party games because I think that's what's really going to sell this console. So, let's get to it. This is my top 10 Sega Genesis games that need to be on the Sega Genesis Mini. Let's go! Number 10, X-Men 2 Clone Wars. All right, so this game doesn't have a high probability of being on the system, but you know what? I would have never guessed that World of Illusion or Castle of Illusion stood a chance either. X-Men 2 Clone Wars is an awesome game, filled with challenging levels, great graphics, and upbeat music. There's also a bunch of X-Men you can play as, including Wolverine, Cyclops, Gambit, Nightcrawler, Beast, Psylocke, and even Magneto. Clone Wars is likely my favorite superhero game of that console generation. If they were to get this game on here, good god, that would be just amazing. Number 9. Zombies Ate My Neighbors so I had this game in my top 10 list of games that should be on the Super Nintendo Mini as well. There's a good reason though, it's because it's fun. Going around saving citizens from zombies and monsters of all kind, I dig it. The game still holds up really well, the gameplay is fun, especially in 2 player mode. The music is very catchy and I just overall enjoy the presentation of the game. There's nothing quite like it on the Genesis and it offers something unique compared to the other games on my list and likely different from whatever does end up being on the Mini. With this game also being a product of Konami, like the confirmed Castlevania Bloodlines is, I have my fingers crossed for this one. Number 8, Splatterhouse 2. From one horror game to another, I swear these are the only two on my list, Namco's Splatterhouse 2 is a great beat-em-up. You play as Rick, who once again dons the terror mask and goes through the hellish mansion to save his girlfriend Jennifer. This might not be everyone's cup of tea, but the over-the-top gore and highly detailed visuals I just find so appealing. Plus, the game does offer a real challenge, and I just find it fun. Like I mentioned, I know a game like Splatterhouse doesn't appeal to everyone, but it doesn't make the game any less of a classic. Let's paint the walls red. Number 7, Zero Wing. Yeah, Zero Wing. This game is most popular due to its poor translation, but the game is actually really awesome. I don't even care for shoot 'em ups but this game rocks. It's got cool visuals and a really amazing soundtrack. I did a review for this game a while back, so if you want to check that out, you can, but yeah, I think Zero Wing would make a great addition for this game lineup. I suppose the only issue with this game being on the mini would be the fact that it never actually released in the US. It was only in Japan and Europe. Well, what better time to release the Mega Drive version than now? Number 6, Mortal Kombat. Yes, I think the original Mortal Kombat should be on the system. Some might say, why not Mortal Kombat 2 or Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3? I don't know, I just really like the original. The original cast, the original stages, that setup where you fight Goro and Shang Tsung at the end, I think it's the best. I wouldn't be heartbroken or anything though if they went with the second one on here. But anyway, Mortal Kombat on the Sega Genesis is where it was at and it actually had a hand in making the Genesis more competitive back in the 90s. The Genesis version of the game contained blood, whereas the Super Nintendo version had sweat. Blech. This little bit of censorship made the Genesis version of the already super popular game the version to have. If you were a 90s kid, you know how freaking popular the Mortal Kombat franchise was. And if none of the games made it onto the mini, that should be considered a crime. With that said, I believe there will be a Mortal Kombat game on here since the entire Mortal Kombat Genesis appeared on the Sega Genesis flashback system. It would make no sense for it to not appear here. Number 5, Mega Man The Wily Wars. 
Here we got another Sega Genesis game that was never officially released in the US, but released everywhere else. If you were in the US, the only way you could have played the only Mega Man game released on the Sega Genesis was by playing it through the Sega Channel. Mega Man The Wily Wars is a remake of the first three Mega Man games. In my opinion, it's not as great as the NES counterparts, but it still holds up. It's kind of neat seeing Mega Man 1 through 3 with the Genesis graphics and chiptunes. It's fun, and it's Mega Man. What else is there to really say? Number 4. Road Rash 3. EA's Road Rash is another Genesis classic that, as the years go by, starts to get more and more lost in its own time period. Road Rash is a game where you race around various parts of the world. You don't just race to the finish though, you can actually beat up other motorcyclists as you pass by them. Some of them even have weapons and you can take those and use it right back against them. How brutal is that? Plus, you can earn money, buy new bikes, and upgrade them, and just have a blast. This game is really fun and has a nice spin on the racing genre. Plus, it's two players. The Genesis Mini comes with two controllers, so let's put those controllers to work. Number 3. Mega Bomberman. This game, I think, is the best Bomberman game out there. It's not just you trying to blow up other characters. This game is a whole adventure with the cool returning power-ups and even the Bomberman version of a Yoshi. It's a nice spin on the series, offers two-player options, and like the other titles mentioned, has some goddamn catchy music. Since Konami has Castlevania on this mini, maybe there's a chance we'll see Mega Bomberman on here too. Number 2. Battletoads. I understand why Battletoads did not appear on the NES Classic Edition, what with Rare being owned by Nintendo's competitor Microsoft, but does Microsoft have any beef with Sega? I don't know. Regardless, if we could get this Genesis version of Battletoads on the Genesis Mini, that would be epic. The Genesis version is basically the same as the NES version, just better graphics, sound, and with a slightly toned down difficulty. Battletoads is a classic game where you play as humanoid toads, rash and zits as you go through insane levels to save fellow toad Pimple and Princess Angelica from the evil Dark Queen. Battletoads is iconic in its own right, and with a new Battletoads game coming out later this year, maybe we'll see this game on the mini. Now before I get to my number one pick, here's a few honorable mentions. What a great talk. Now my number one pick, Rocket Knight Adventures. God damn Konami, you were just so amazing in the 90s. What the hell happened? Rocket Knight Adventures stars the possum knight named Sparkster as he battles pigs, robots, and pigs and robots. Sparkster has a rocket pack that can launch him in the air, and he's got a sword for slicing enemies. Rocket Knight Adventures is a classic, and I never understood why Konami didn't do more with this series. The game just has this high presentation that makes you feel like you're playing something epic. And how right it is! Rocket Knight Adventure is great and a real blast from the past. And if you didn't get a chance to play this back in the day, I guarantee you'll fall in love with it now. And that's it! That's my top 10 Sega Genesis games that need to be on the Sega Genesis Mini! What do you guys think though? What games do you want to see on the console? Are you burnt out on the mini consoles as well? 
And you know, the more I talk about this mini Sega Genesis console, the more I get excited for it. And as even though I said I'm sick of them, I would not be opposed to a Nintendo 64 mini, a Dreamcast mini, or even a Game Boy mini. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you all later. Thank <laughs> you.